Hey, groups. Uh, so excited to be with you today. My name is Matt Kuman. I'm the groups pastor here at the Foundry. Um, this is the second week we have been in Proverbs now. Um, and if you haven't gotten a chance to grab one of our devotion books here, we would love to get one of those to you. They are in the airlocks for you to pick up anytime. And it is a great way uh, to not only connect with your group, but just stay in the Word throughout the week when you're not at church and when you're not uh, g- gathering together with your group. So I'd love to encourage you guys to do that. Uh, we are in our second week of Proverbs, and this week Josh Harrington spoke on this idea of being teachable. Um, we looked at the story of Moses and how when he uh, moved back to right after the he took everybody out of Egypt, the Israelites, through the Red Sea, all of those things, we see that he has this he has a lot of issues that he's working through. He has a lot of people coming to him with issues, and he is just flooded with so much to do. Um, and his father-in-law comes up to him and explains to him, you can't do all these things on your own. It's time to pass some of these things off. Um, and one thing we see in Moses' life is that he does do those things. We see that Moses is teachable. Um, and we look at, through the scriptures and we look through Proverbs and we, we can see how in the Proverbs we're slowly working through now is this idea of wisdom and being able to take advice and looking at the difference between godly wisdom and the advice of the world and how there's differences there. So that's kind of a recap of where we went this weekend. And we'll dive into the questions in just a minute here. But uh, before we get started, I'd love for you to talk about an icebreaker question here a minute. Um, Behind me is a scene of a different hike through the woods. Me and my wife love going on hikes. We've done a lot of hiking in our past. I would love to know, and I'd love for you to talk with your group, what is the longest hike you have been on? Where was it, and what did you see at the end of it? All right, let's jump right into the discussion questions. Question number one, how do you feel when someone speaks into your life? How do you respond when someone offers you advice? Do you feel offended sometimes? Do you get defensive or maybe you get annoyed? What, what are some of those responses? Question number two, what is the difference, and we kind of just talked about it a little bit in the recap, but what is that difference between godly wisdom and worldly advice? Because sometimes advi- we, we associate advice with godly wisdom, but sometimes they shouldn't be associated together. So what's the difference between those two? Question number three, in the story of Moses, so that's coming out of Exodus 18, if you want a chance, if you're unfamiliar with the passage to read that, go ahead and read that from Exodus 18. Um, Moses is very busy managing the complaints of the people, some arguments of the people, and he was given some advice to spread out the concerns of the people. Um, So here's the question, what is a time in your life where you struggled to give up a task that that you were doing but knew it was time to hand it off. Um, And the second part of that question is this, is there a moment in your life right now where you're feeling convicted to hand off a few things? Question number four, Uh, being teachable doesn't just pertain to listening to others, even though sometimes it does. Uh, Most importantly, it means listening to the Holy Spirit and what God teaches you through his word. Have you ever uh, read something in the Bible or heard something in a message that you may have felt a pinprick in your heart to say, go do something about this, or it spoke to you in a new way and you wanted to imply a Apply that thing in your life. Describe those moments. And taking that one step further, question number five, describe a time when you ignored godly wisdom from a friend, a parent, a pastor, um, or the Bible, and you live to regret it later. 
Like you saw the advice that you were given and you went the other direction and you look back thinking, man, that, that was godly wisdom. I should have taken that. Describe those moments. Question number six. What are some areas in your life that you feel like God is trying to teach you something right now? Um, and the follow-up to that after you answer that one is, how do you know it's God trying to teach you those things? We talked earlier about the difference between worldly advice and advice that comes from the world and godly wisdom. So how do we, how do we know when it's God who is trying to teach us something? All right, groups, that is it for our normal content. If you have time, um, the Digging Deeper section is fantastic this week. It has this, it, we talked through this idea of discipline, and so often we don't like to be disciplined. I know I don't like to be disciplined, but yet in the Proverbs, it seems like it's a good thing. Uh, so we're going to wrestle with some of those. I'd love it if you had time to check out some of those questions. Your leaders have some more information on that. Um, but I do want to ask those of you who... Um, are in groups. We have started having our groups help out on Monday nights with ShakeOut. Uh, we have an entire group run ShakeOut. So if your group is looking to serve together and looking for opportunities to serve together, um, we would love it if you reach out. We would love to place you in um, a service opportunity to do as a whole group. Uh, there's so many options that we would love to get in front of you. So uh, my uh, email is matt.kuman at foundrychurch.net. Uh, feel free to reach out and we will get you placed in something. So um, thank you guys so much for staying engaged with God's Word and the Book of Proverbs. Um, and I cannot wait till we see you next time. Have a great week. <laughs>